exotic fruits. Do you know them? Do you like them? Stay there and learn what is the top 10 exotic fruits for me as a frugivore, for somebody that lives for 16 years out of fruits and vegetables. Check this out because some of these foods you, you never saw before. Pleasure to meet you and have you here. My name is Eduardo Coraça, uh, more known in Brazilian media, social media as Dr. Coraça because I'm a nutritionist and I work with teaching people how to live healthfully, how to live a natural hygiene life, like chrononutrition, chronobiology, or natural diet of raw foods, exercise, sunshine, and other aspects of other forms of providing our biological needs. Yes, human beings need certain biological needs to be healthy. Health doesn't come out of a pill or of a, out of a potion or out of surgery, but comes from healthful living. Health can't be built, but must be built every day by our own choices. So I just separated some of rare stuff that I had on my fridge right now so you can get a hold. But before that, let's talk about the 10 top fruits in the world for me. I know it's hard to give a number for each fruit because it depends on the variety, depends on the season, depends even on the soil. So each fruit, every place different in the world has a different taste. But top 10 in the world for me would be soursop. Yeah, guanabana, soursop, graviola in Portuguese. It's one of my favorites, that's for sure. Soursop, it's sour, but still quite dense and sweet. Top nine would be atemoya. This one, it's such a beautiful fruit. I will open for you in the, in, in the end. If you never had atemoya, you're missing the world. Tastes like vanilla sugar, it's so good. Top eight would be sapote. Did you ever know sapote? This, there's actually sapote and sapodilla. Most people don't know it, but sapodilla is a different, from the same fruit, but it's a different variety. This is sweeter than the sapote itself. Top seven, that's for sure jackfruit. I love jackfruit and I prefer the the soft variety, this is more chewy and more tasty, but the hard variety is also good as well. Jackfruit tastes like bubblegum sugar. Top six in the world, plantains. Yeah, this looks like bad banana, right? This looks like it go, went bad, but no, it's actually quite tasty on the inside. It's actually my favorite banana. Plantains. Tastes like cooked caramel bananas when they're really, really ripe like this. Top five would be for sure Mame Sapote. It's one of my favorite fruits in the whole world. It tastes like pumpkin pie. Sapote tastes like a pear cooked in the oven with like brown sugar and cinnamon. Top four in the world for sure, it's mangoes. Mangoes are like one of my favorite fruits but it depends on the variety and the season and the place because mangoes, for example, in US are not as close as good as here in Brazil when you pick them out of the trees, right? Are you not subscribed in the channel yet? So please subscribe, hit the bell for getting notifications, comment, like, and give it a thumbs up. If you are liking the videos, that helps the channel to reach out for more people as well. We have nine books published about raw food nutrition and the science of health, natural hygiene. I'm glad to announce there are hygienic fasting, nature surgery. This one's the version in Portuguese, but it, there's actually a new version in English published on Kindle and Amazon, so you can read it. I can guarantee you that will be the best book on fasting that you ever read. And sooner, there will be all of our books, all of our nine books published on Amazon. I attend patients online or in person. Also, we run retreats in Brazil uh, every January and July. 
for five days learning raw food culinary and raw food science and online courses that will be translated to English pretty soon. Now the top three is harder for me than any other decision because I love these three fruits and it's hard to put them in front of the other, right? <laughs> to say that durian is the, the best fruit in the world and to say that green figs from Portugal called, called honey drops or persimmons and even more chocolate persimmons. It's like, ah, it hurts. It hurts my heart to, you know, like, hurt any of those fruits, hurt the feelings of any of those fruits. But we had to make a choice, right? So I would say in the third position would be persimmons. And my favorite persimmon is chocolate persimmon. But in the second position, there is durian. Yeah, I know everybody will think like durian is, durian is the best one for sure. But you probably never ate fresh green figs from Portugal called honey drops. And I still didn't have durian out of the trees to have an educated guess. I just had frozen durian and even the fresh one, it was not from Thailand, you know, not picked really, really fresh. So, but durian is for sure in my top three, but I still think fresh figs from Portugal, the Algarvian figs, they're called honey drops. They give out of the bottom of the fig like a, a syrup and it's like it tastes like pastry with a lot of sugar. It's so, so, so good. It grows on the Algarve beach region of uh, Portugal. It's one of a kind. I can guarantee you go there and have for, for your own self out of the trees. It's like amazing. So comment below here. What's your favorite fruits? What are the fruits that you like the most? So for sure, my number one would be fresh green figs from Portugal that are called honey drops. It's a special variety called honey drops, pingo de mel. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to receive the notifications. And if you need help with nutrition and health in general, we provide the service. Although I'm not, I'm shirtless right now in the kitchen. I'm usually in the, in, in the office, like attending patients through, through online consultations. So click these videos to get to know more about fruits, vegetables, and natural hygiene.